I am the Reverend Dr. Juan Zacoven, a pastor of the Olivet Institutional Baptist Church here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I am in the company of Mr. Bakari Katwana, uh, activist and author, Dr. Rhonda Williams, social justice, head of the Social Justice Institute at Case Western Reserve University, Mr. Ed L Little, expert in the area of criminal and juvenile justice, uh, Mr. Joe Worthy of the Children's Defense Fund, the Reverend Dr. R.A. Vernon, Senior Pastor of the Word Church, uh, Ms. Julia Searson of the Council of American Arab Relations, Cleveland Chapter, and Ms. Rachel Smith, a community activist. We also have standing with us attorneys Walter Madison, a representative of the estate of Tamir Rice, and attorney Michael Nelson, chair of the Criminal Justice Committee of the Cleveland NAACP. Today, I and seven of the aforementioned individuals have filed just a few moments ago in municipal court a citizen's affidavit for probable cause in the death of Tamir Rice. The Ohio Revised Code allows for any person who believes that a crime is being committed the legal option to make their case directly known to the courts. We have done just that. We believe that officers Timothy Lohman and Frank Garnback caused the death of Tamir Rice in deeds which were unconscionable, reprehensible, and yes, criminal. We believe that these officers charged, enforced the law, charged to enforce the law themselves stepped outside of the law and therefore are subject to the same process of scrutiny, examination, and expedience of the judicial process as each each member of our nation. So let me be clear. Today we are not taking actions against police officers. We are taking actions for the people. Those who take a sworn oath to protect and serve the people, protect and serve in the name of the people. And when the people believe something has been done in their name, through the deeds of their public servants that is illegal and criminal, the people have the right to hold those actions and those individuals accountable. So today as citizens, we are taking this matter and the matter of justice into our hands, using the tools of democracy as an instrument to ensure that every person, regardless of their race, religion, sex, orientation, social class, or profession, is ensured that their rights as victims, citizens, and human beings are respected in the courts and throughout society. We believe that we are on the right side of history, and that our actions are in a long human and civil rights tradition of persons like Ella Baker, Medgar Evers, Septa McClark, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and many others who have used the words of our democracy to hold our nation's systems accountable and make this country a better place for all. Dr. Vernon. I'm Dr. R.A. Vernon, founder and senior pastor of the Word Church. You know, I was raised right around the corner from here in the projects of Cleveland, and nobody is as excited as me about the prospect of being champions of the world for the NBA. It's amazing that we're seeking to be champions and I want that as much as anybody. And yet I want to be a champion for justice. We're saying that we're all in for the Cavs, and I am too. Born and raised here in Cleveland. But I'm also all in for Tamir Rice, and not only him, but every young black child that he represents. As I stand here, I'm reminded of the words of President Obama. Trayvon Martin lost his life. He said that if he had a son, his son probably would have looked something like Trayvon Martin. I have anagular sentiments in that I do have three sons, and ironically, they all do look something like young Tamir Rice. I found that some interesting commentary went forth, but the commentary was, why would we circumvent our criminal justice system? Why not just wait? My question was, wait on the same criminal justice system that said it was all right for Mike Brown to get no justice, the same criminal justice system that said it was heroic for Officer Brillo to shoot and then load and shoot again. Is that the criminal justice system that we should wait on? I think the citizens will have to do our best to get justice. I'm not happy about having to do this. As an American citizen, I wish that I could depend on our criminal justice system to do what was right. Dr. King said the time is always right 
to do what is right. In closing, I'll just say, I'm not standing here, Dr. King said, vanity asks the question, is it popular? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? But conscious asks the question, is it right? I stand here because something in my heart told me. That was one of my three sons, how much of my popularity, my resources, or large church would I use to get justice for my baby. So I stand here alone with these seven courageous individuals because we believe that what happened to Tamir deserves justice. I have to say this, I don't think that they are terrible men. They may even regret what they did. Maybe they didn't even do it on purpose, but they did it. And when you make mistakes like that, you have to be accountable.